Hello, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Thank you for watching Nintendo Digital Event. Nihono Mesa, also, I got over the last. Kyono, eh, digital event, no, Ezo, you know, Kotoshi has by the Grusso, so I didn't know how I did it. So, our digital event today focused entirely on games that are launching in 2015 and early 2016. The Jonen. And as we showed at E3 last year, we have many gamepad games for Wii U that we introduced there that are continuing in development, and we're still working on those. And so we've introduced games like that use Amiibo and games like Splatoon, and we've shown Star Fox for this year, and we've got more coming. And Aonuma-san is not here at E3, and that's because he is back at Nintendo, hard at work on his next game, and as soon as the show is over, I'm going to be going back to help him out with it as well. And so now what we're going to do is jump right into gameplay straight from Star Fox Zero. But I think maybe rather than having me play it, we should have our Nintendo Treehouse Live staff here play it because uh, they're probably going to be a lot better than I am. But after they're done, I'm going to come right back because there's one more thing that I want to talk about. And so I think we'll take a look at that and then just kick off with Nintendo Treehouse Live. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Game. D3. Uh, now it's time. Only D3 do they let us out of the treehouse to, uh, <laughs> you know, play these games. So we're going to hop right into Star Fox Zero for you guys and do some. Uh, we're going to fire up the R wing and take Absolutely. it for a test flight. The Corneria, awesome. which is, uh, you know, a favorite of a lot of Star oh. Fox veterans out there. This is so cool. I've seen this game. It just brings back a lot of really good memories for me about spending way too much time really late at night <laughs> playing Star Fox. I know. You can just see this like cinematic opening. It's, it's so good. All right. So as we're getting started here, we probably should talk a little bit about how this game fits into the Star Fox series for folks who right. maybe missed our digital event. Right. This Star Fox is uh, kind of a reimagining of the original uh, yeah. or Star Fox 64. Uh, it's, it's as far as it's not a prequel, it's not a sequel, it's just kind of uh, exists alongside that of Star Fox. Yeah, I like it as a reimagining because it's, it's going to be a whole new story, but there's a lot here that's really familiar and then a lot of new stuff that. I think you guys are. Really I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm using the gamepad. We're going to notice a lot of this uh, split screen gameplay, and I was using it right. there to check in with my teammates. And uh, people are going to, you know, the voices are going to sound a little familiar. That's because we brought back a lot of the original voice actors, not just from the original, but from Star Fox 64 3D. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but again, this is a brand new Star Fox game, so those voices are going to have a new life, which I think is going to be course. really exciting. And for some of those right. lines, you know, the, the classic barrel roll lines, you got to keep those in to, you know, keep the fans happy. But there's also a lot of really cool new lines that I like to uh, shoot Falco right, right off the start, give him a little friendly fire there. <laughs> Get him, wake him up. All right, so nice. Morgan here is kind of aiming around the screen, taking these enemies out. On his game, on the Wii U gamepad, he actually sees the cockpit view, whereas on the TV screen, yeah. he's seeing kind of like the overview. So you can either use the TV to aim or Whoa, use buddy. the gamepad to aim. <laughs> and you can see right away we've got Whoa. some stuff that we've never seen before. I, it's like some sort of giant saw blades. Boom. Oh, oh careful. You gotta dodge that stuff, man. I think uh, Miyamoto-san will be very sad if we destroy the R-wing on our first go-out. Not, not gonna happen. <laughs> it's totally not gonna happen. It's not. It's not a cheap piece of equipment. So. <laughs> yeah, and it's really fun to switch back and forth between the uh, TV screen and the gamepad screen here. And not only that, the gamepad gives you kind of a finer amount of control. Not only a finer amount, but a wider amount of control. Yeah. You can, if you actually tilt it straight up, you can shoot straight up while you're flying forward. It's really cool. We're going to see some of that later when we get into the all-range section. And, uh, you know, people are going to, I think immediately you're going to feel sort of, you know, this, we're going to see a lot of uh, 
Star Fox Zero gameplay here on Treehouse Live, and I think people are going to be excited by things that are very familiar to them. Like this opening section, it's sort of a, it's not really on rails, but it's, it's classic sort of flying. We're going to see some all range sections, and then yeah. we're going to see some other stuff too that I think is going to be really exciting. Right. And I'm really glad that during the digital event, um, we got to hear Mimoto-san talk about the inspiration for a lot of the design here, because mm -hmm. now having heard about the archways and the shrine inspiration, yeah. it's, it's really interesting seeing the stage again and, and seeing it through those eyes. And yeah, that's something that, you know, obviously with playing Star, past Star Fox games, you do a lot of, you fly under stuff and through stuff, oh, but I had never really thought of it, you know, as... Whoa. Oh, Watch whoa. out. Being, like, that guy was waiting his whole robot him. life to throw that beam at me. I love that guy. <laughs> That's his only programming <laughs> is to throw. So there. Was that one of the girder throwing robots that you just destroyed? You're like big guys you throw I'm just taking out some trees too, you know, as long as I'm here, why not? <laughs> you guys can see my hits counting up there. It's, you know, it's that classic Star Fox. You know, I'm, I'm racking up hits as I take down enemies. I'm getting more of those as I get combos. So right, yeah. There's so if you do that charge shot, and take out like three enemies uh, at a time. You're getting actually more hits than you would if you took them out individually. Yeah. Well, right, there's another one of those guys. Careful. And I'm not going to save Corneria by getting a high score, but it's going to make me feel real good. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you never know. And those rings, those are refilling your refilling your shield and whatnot as you take damage. Yeah, I think I think if people at home, I'm I'm actually switching back and forth quite a bit between when I'm looking at the TV or looking at the gamepad, and we've got that picture in picture, which is nice. Obviously, they don't quite know where I'm looking, but um, it's so much fun to sort of switch back and forth. Yeah. And we're gonna see. Here we go. We're going into all range mode now. There's Speaking General of Pepper. Faces. <laughs> He's holed up in the top floor. Switching to all range mode. In all range mode again, the you know I think we got a lot of Star Fox fans maybe watching, but people that haven't. Now I'm able to fly completely around this area in 360 degrees. Um, I can also use the ZL button here. That's putting me into target view. So to check that out, I can bust right, out a really that? cool sort of cinematic viewpoint here. Um, if you see my gamepad, I'm still in first person, but I'm able to use the TV to track a lot of these fighters. We've got. A lot of enemy fighters right now. I'm going to get back to work here, trying to take these guys down. And that target view actually comes into play, you know, when you need to see where you are in relation to another object. Sometimes you can use that. Check the TV, be like, oh, this guy's behind me, and then yeah. you'll just turn around and take him out. Nice. Whoa, watch out. All right, so you're go right now. You have to take out 10 of these fighters. Yeah, my, we've got to take oh, yeah, out 10 of these bad boys. Almost halfway there. <laughs> We're working on it. Nice, good job. I'm going to get a little fishing. laser upgrade here. That's going to help yeah. me out. And it's really nice when you're not playing this, just getting to appreciate the background. Mm -hmm. Just sort of enjoying the scenery. And it's like, oh, oh wait, sorry, there's people firing. Yeah, fire we talked about, you know, well, I've got, you know, Peppy, Slippy, and Falco, they're doing a little <laughs> work on those on those 10 fighters, too. I'm going to bust out a few moves here. Oh, yeah. You go, nice. Again, I'm using two sticks to fly, which might sound, yeah, you use two sticks, but you got to remember that original Star Fox, you, you had one control right. stick. And being able to use two, I'm able to do a lot of, you know, I'm just able to do a lot of really cool fly moves, but also, like I said, flick the sticks to do you know, a nice somersault there. Of course, if I do a double tap. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Let's get back to work on these enemy fighters so you, up here. So you can oh, also do like a U-turn. Oh, yeah. You can boost, you can break. So you're using all these different maneuvers to try to. Yeah, I'm using my right stick here to boost. You can see my boost meter at the bottom of the screen using up. Go ahead and. Oh, come on, Morgan. You only got two more to go. All right. Let me, let me fire so up a charge close. shot here. Nice. nice. I know I got to take these enemies down, but I want to show off. We're, we're kicking the tires here on the r wing <laughs> for everybody. Or mm -hmm. I don't know, kicking the tires. I don't know if that works. Maybe mm -hmm. we're. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what we're doing. I guess if Mario has tires, it probably lands at some point. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm really excited to show off the transformation here, so I feel like we need to hit the ground. All right, I've got these containers opening up, and uh, yeah, I think uh, you can see I'm flying above these guys using my gamepad to target their weak points, but. Uh, I'm feeling a little frisky, so I'm going to go ahead and tap. This is a big moment here. I don't, I don't want to give it away, but here we go. Tap the A button. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> What's Walker cool about mode. the walker is you can 
It changes your kind of maneuverability options. You can stand still, whereas in the all It is like I can just stand here. To. Suddenly I'm not flying around. This guy's coming right toward me. I've also got to hover. I'm going to use the gamepad, look down. Nice. That guy was not prepared for me to <laughs> walk around like that. Can we show its little strafing move as well? Because I think that just looks yeah, really you can cool. See I've yes. got a little. And of course, it, like any good Star, Star Fox, Fox vehicle, you can always do a barrel roll, <laughs> even if you're in the walker. So you got to hit those red nubbins on the top of them. Yeah, let me chase those guys down. And one thing I think is really fun about the transformation, it's not just a different way to come at enemies and come at problems, but there's actually some stuff hidden around in these stages that you're not going to be able to find unless you shift into different transformations. Thanks, so there's going to be some spots that are a little too narrow for your R wing to fit and some other spots oh, where gonna it's, I'm gonna it's bust just a tight fit. You've got to know which vehicle you need to go through to get through I there. I just got a hot tip from, General, uh, from uh, Peppy that there's more coming from the shoreline. I'm going to fly above these guys. Get back into my he's shooting boom. basically straight down at those guys which is something you weren't able to do in past Star Fox yeah. games. But now with the gamepad, you can basically look straight down and kind of like be a bomber, do a bombing run sort of thing. And it's a little easier to make sure you're not going to run into something when you look at the upper screen and you're like, OK, I can tell I'm not going to run into a building. Then focus on whatever's below you. And there's another one there. I just spotted it using target view. Whoop, watch out. Oh, I feel like it's a little too oh, peaceful right now. <laughs> I don't trust it. There's one there below me there. I'm using target view to lock on to him. And when I say lock on, I mean lock on visually. I still have to actually do the work and aim for him. Whoa, buddy. Nice. Get off that tower. That's our tower. <laughs> Good job. Always good advice from Peppy. Sure. Peppy never, he always comes through. Yeah, Slippy, not so much. But. <laughs> I need to get back on the ground here. These guys are getting a little too close for my comfort. I love that little move when it's coming down for the transformation. It's just like. I use that charge shot. Call out that charge shot. Oh, sounds good to do. Nice. Right, get off my tower. Phase two complete. Oh, gee, no. So these, I don't know if at home you guys can hear the characters talking or not, but um, it's a really cool feature with the gamepad. Uh, yeah, they're we, doing this 3D audio thing. Yeah, it's so, really, really cool. So it, it's the weirdest thing. It feels like the characters are talking in, like whispering yeah, into your like ear, right like there. a headset. Yeah, they've got it. So when you're playing, when you're when you're playing, the, the the characters talking to you are coming out of the gamepad speakers, and it's so cool. The sound design in this game is really, really, really cool, and uh, yeah, it really does feel like they're sort of in your helmet. Right. Yeah, that's so a, I've got a problem here, actually. I was talking about sound, and meanwhile, the Androsa dropped down. This is an enemy. Uh, this thing is crazy. This is a weaponized flying fortress, I believe it was called. You can see that now that I'm in this boss battle, the TV screen has dropped into even a more of a cinematic view, uh, and I'm really like using the gamepad now to target. Nice. This is one point I think is really interesting here, because there's that little tunnel you can see over on the left-hand side. And now you have a couple of different options with this boss. If you want to, you can stay up here, focus on it from the air. But if you're a smooth player, you can actually sneak in there. And there's some other stuff to do actually inside this boss. Right. As you know, Star Whoa, Fox fans buddy. know, there are multiple ways to complete missions in Star Fox games. You can have a mission complete or a mission accomplished. And that depends on how, you know, what sort of things you do during the mission. Oh, I think that this is another spot out. where it comes in really oh, handy that you there. can do some separate targeting as well. Woo! Oh, oh watch careful. out. Crash. Careful there. I got these lasers. I'm going to go ahead and sneak behind this guy and uh, I'm going to drop in on him. Oh, nice. Oh, didn't see me coming, did you? Nice. I'm going to ride that down. Right right down. I'm just going to ride it. I'm feeling <laughs> a little action movie style. Right. Oh, oh, that was awesome. Right. Nice. All right, one of these radar lasers left. Ooh. Boom. Wow. Well played, I think he's below that chunk of debris that just fell down. But he road. escaped. He escaped. What yes. are you going to do? It's always good doing General Pepper proud. He's just, you know, <laughs> you really want to, he's somebody you really want to fight for. Nice. It's so good, good job, to be back in the cockpit. It's so good to be back. I'm so excited. Like, it's so good to have 
You know, we had, like we said, we talked about Star Fox 3. That was a remake of the original, but this is a brand new Star Fox game. It feels so good, though. It's like everything I love about the original. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I don't really want to give the controller up, but I think Eric's going to... Oh, oh, you know, take a shot. want to fight on to camera. We might get in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah. Step and in case you're watching at home and you are actually are going to be coming to E3, that corner area mission is one of the ones we have playable here on the show floor. Um, yeah. It's oh. I don't know if you saw behind us, we've actually got these killer cockpit setups. There's four of them, and they actually have like a, a really immersive speaker system, and it's very much it's, like sitting in it, an yeah. wing. I'm, I'm hoping I can get in line and actually it's, try it's, those it's at very some cool. point. But they they look like fun. Man, All right. I'm still, I, I don't really, I, I'm feeling like, <laughs> that was fun. I mean, we're, we're back at E3. You know, we're here getting to play games. Like, like this is so cool. I, I just, it's so fun just testing this thing out. Uh, Showing it to the world after so long. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's hard following the direct because I'm still so distracted by, like, Muppet people. Just, I know. Now I have to focus up and, and work. <laughs> so Eric's taking us into Area 3 here. So I really love using the cockpit view, and I think it's going to come down to personal preference too. Sometimes, some players are going to, you know, like using the TV more, some the cockpit view. But for me, I think the cockpit view gives me more, more options. I love options. Yeah, I found this, um, especially this mission where it's it's such an open dogfight. It was really useful to me to be able to look around because somebody once in a while, it's like I know my target's there. It's maybe right behind me, and I need to really look around before I decide what kind of maneuver I want to pull or what direction I want to go. Yeah, and Eric, I know you're focused on taking these guys down, but if you could just kind of look at that, I think we can see sort of, just by looking around, like this What's is a lot of, though, yeah. sort of a like the, the city for, inside there. You can there. see the scale, and I think that uh, as we see more of this oh, game. Oh, he's right behind me. <laughs> Not today. Nice. You know, we've had a chance to play this back in the treehouse a little bit. Get your, oh, sorry, I don't want to spoil Pigma's big entrance here. Pigma. Gotta love Pigma. Pigma. That's one of the beauty or the beautiful things about this uh, this series is like it's sci-fi, but it's so silly at the same time. It doesn't take itself too seriously. With you know, you're, you're Are a bunch you making of, fun of Pigma. You tell dude, you're a bunch of animals in, in it's space. space. So, but I think, but this is also it's. It, it's that combination of the, the, those Star Fox elements that I think are so familiar and so, feel so good, uh, but this total new feel. Like, you just look at the oh. character art. When those Ow. characters are popping up, it. Oh, I love it. So I can use the target view with the L trigger here. And then what I can do is I'll see where he is exactly. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. Ooh. Oh, he oh. did it at the same time. Oh. Man, he's reading wow. my mind right now. <laughs> I got you, bud. Awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. I got you, Pigma. I love these little duels, too. So before I was shooting all of these enemies, and now I'm just dueling with this guy. All right, where is he? I think he's behind you. Hit the brakes. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. I got you now, buddy. Uh, nice. Maybe not. Where are you? Where'd you go? All right, now I'm going to. got him. Very cool. Right. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. <laughs> Woo. That hurt a little bit. It feels right, so good when you land those charge shots. So, I know I'm supposed to be watching Eric like fighting, but I just keep looking back at the the stuff in the background. <laughs> 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 Very nice. Oh. Where you at? Where you at? Oh. All right, boost in. Wait, where'd he go? And this is another. This mission is also playable on the show floor, Ooh. so. Um, it's, it, it sort of works out your Star Fox skills in a different way. So, gotta dodge. No, wrong button. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Buddy, where you at, buddy? Man, it's tenacious. Very nice. Oh, nice. Oh, I got him. Whew. <laughs> that was an intense, uh, Pig fight, I guess. It's not only a dog fight. Yeah. Awesome. So Pigma lives to fight another day, but uh, I think you did some some good work on him there. All right. All right. Awesome. So we're gonna cut back from that, and uh, I think we're gonna bring. Uh, I think we've got a chance to bring. Um, I guess back up. 
Yeah. I think so. Hey, miyamoto san welcome back. <laughs> and Bill, of course. Hi, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Ah. すごい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming up and sharing this news with us. I'm very excited to see more coming out from them. And um, I'm hoping you have a chance to try out one of these demo stations behind us as well with the like cockpit setup, because I'd love to hear what you think of that later as well. はい、すごいね。そうですね。機材で今日遊んでもらうんで、しかもね、今度のゲームオーディオにね、すごく工夫を凝らしてるんですけど、今日それを強調して、コックピットでは簡単とここで声を聞きながら仲間の声を聞き